Hi and welcome back to my channel. I Today we'll be doing a weekly menu slash grocery haul vlog and it's been a while since I've done one of these. I'm actually trying to play catch up. I'm still struggling with trying to get into a good routine with vlogging and healthy habits this summer, um, but I'm starting to get there. I'm playing catch up again, so bear with me. And I do plan on doing a weight loss update really soon uh, for the past two, uh, two weeks that I've missed with that. So stay tuned for that. Now this video that you're watching, the footage for the menu and the grocery haul and the dinners were actually already recorded. So I figured instead of just wasting the footage, I figured it would help somebody you know, who needs help with planning their meals uh, while following WW or just trying to eat you know, healthy. So this week that you're about to see, it was for the week of June 26th through July 3rd. So I hope that doesn't cause too much confusion. Uh, but yeah, just keep watching and the next set of footage should be the menu plan for that week. Okay, so for this week's menu, this is for the week of June 26th through, the Jul uh, through July 3rd. The menu actually starts on Wednesday. But you won't see those items in my grocery haul because I did have them already from last week's grocery shop, but I did not do a food-related vlog post last week. So you won't see those items in my grocery haul in a little bit, but that's when my menu starts. So uh, it's a little different this week, sorry for the confusion. So on Wednesday, we are making... Um, and actually this is a meal that my son decided to make with me. He, um, I try to get my kids involved in cooking like I've mentioned before in other vlogs, especially during the summer. And he wanted, he really wanted spaghetti meatballs, so I decided to modify a little. And we are making the Zero Smart Point crock pot marinara with turkey meatballs. Um, and with zoodles and spaghetti. The spaghetti will be for the kids um, and the zoodles will be for my husband and I, but the kids will have zoodles as well. Thursday, we are going to Six Flags. This is the my daughter will be helping with dinner and she chose this because it's quick and easy and will probably be too tired to actually really cook anything. Uh, so the, my kids will be having tuna melts and my husband and I will probably be having them on lettuce, like lettuce wraps. <clears throat> Friday, we're having grilled scallops and grilled shrimp with a salad. Saturday, I am spending most of the day at my parents' house. We are going there uh, to barbecue and hang out. So I plan on bringing those chicken sausages that I really like and making a broccoli salad. And then Saturday evening, we are going to a friend's housewarming party and I will be bringing another broccoli salad. So I'm making um, a big batch and just you know splitting it into two. So that's my plan for Saturday. Um, and hopefully I'll have some protein options at the housewarming party. Sunday, we are going to my cousin's house for a barbecue. Very busy weekend, for sure. And I, um, am, go I am going to be bringing a fruit salad. Monday, we will be having a kale salad um, with grilled chicken. We got a lot of kale in this week's Misfits Market Haul, so, um, and I will have a link to that video in the description below. Tuesday, we are having salmon burgers with acorn squash. Acorn squash also came from Misfits Market. Salmon burgers are um, kind of a, a limited uh, time thing at Aldi, so I wanted to get some of those and try those out. And that's what we're having for this week keep watching to see how everything turns out and just keep in mind that we do you know things kind of change and plans may change but this is what I plan so far okay so the grocery portion of this vlog my grocery haul so yesterday I did receive my misfits market delivery on a Wednesday today is Thursday um, I still got quite a bit of produce at Aldi um, today and even though we did get quite a bit of produce from Misfits Market I do have a link in the description below to that video of my Misfits Market unboxing video but um, I did go over budget this week uh, but I'll get started and I will let you know how much I spent at the end so <laughs> the first thing that I got from Aldi yes Aldi <laughs> cracks me up what you can get at this store is this pool and my kids first reaction was mom we're too big for that 
Aha, but it's not for them. It is for my dog, and it is specifically a pet pool. It is labeled on their shelf and in their flyer as a pet pool. So we're going to see if Miss Lucy likes this. Uh, and that was only $4.99, so that was an awesome buy, I think. Now let's get into the food part. <laughs> Okay, one of the culprits of this being a little bit over budget this week would definitely be the jumbo scallops. Um, these we rarely ever get, but it was um, it was definitely a good deal. It was 12 ounces and it was $9.99 for this bag. So these are for Friday night's dinner. We're going to be grilling the scallops as well as shrimp and we'll have that over salad. The whip topping I got for Sunday, which I am going to a cousin's barbecue and my contribution is a fruit salad again, but I thought it would kind of make it a little more fun and bring some like whip topping, AKA Cool Whip, but Aldi's version. And I got this for me. We were running low on lunch meat. My kids are home and they're eating a lot of, you know, lunch meat sandwiches for lunch, uh, roast beef and turkey breast. These are all of their lunch meat is fairly low in point. I tend to use them for roll-ups and sometimes I'll put them in my salads. Salmon, I originally wanted to make grilled salmon burgers on Tuesday. Aldi had a special on um, Chipotle and teriyaki burgers, but they were kind of pricey. So I went with the family pack of salmon fillets. Also a little bit pricier than the tilapia that we get, but I figured it would kind of be nice to switch it up a little bit. And for this two pound family pack, it was $7.69. So still not bad for salmon. Another Lucy treat. We got these frozen dog, dog treats. We don't give her treats often, but I figured we'd see if she likes those. They're probably not the best thing for her, and we don't plan on giving them to her often, but we thought she'd enjoy them. French toast sticks, my kids really like these for breakfast. I really like that they can make them themselves. It's always nice when your kids are starting to be become more independent, so we get those because they can just pop them in the microwave, and then they'll have something along with it. Greek yogurt, we were running low on. My husband definitely uses two of those every week. I use like one and a half every week, but I needed uh, Greek yogurt for this week. Half and half, my husband uses in his coffee. More reduced fat cheddar cheese. I'm so happy that all these continue to carry that. This is the American cheese that my kids use on their sandwiches. Um, honestly, it's, I like it too. I don't eat it because it is a little higher in points. Um, I would prefer to use that, but it for like, processed uh, American cheese. This is much better than like the Kraft Singles, I think, uh, which kind of tastes like plastic, I think. This tastes a little better. These, we got these last week and I didn't do a haul last week, but these are so good. Um, in my Misfits Market haul yesterday, I got a ton of mini peppers and I love to dip those in hummus. And what's really nice is, yeah, it's a lot of packaging, but they're individually packaged so you know how many points each cup is. And one cup is three smart points. So I know exactly how many points I'm getting and not like, oh my gosh, how much did I just eat? Anyway, feta cheese. Um, I'm back to the reduced fat feta cheese to put in salads. Another contribution to why my Oh, it was a little bit more expensive this week. Cherries, they're expensive, but they're really good in the summer. And we got nectarines. Now the pineapple, the strawberries, and the blueberries will be for the fruit salad that I'm making on Sunday. And then we have blueberries, extra blueberries for yogurt. We did get a package of uh, strawberries for uh, from Misfits Market, so we'll have that for yogurt as well. And I plan on using some of that in a summer salad with the kale that we got from Misfits Market. Cucumber for salads. The Colby Jack cheese sticks, my kids and my husband really like. My son loves the string cheese more, and I, I, I don't wanna share the reduced fat. <laughs> so I get him the regular plain old string cheese because these are three smart points and the other ones are one smart point. And they're a little bit more expensive, so he gets those and I get mine. <laughs> these, the last grocery haul video I made, these were in that video. And I said that I would let you guys know how they are. Oh my gosh, these are so good. My kids liked them. They are only one smart point each. They taste really good on the grill. We are going to my parents' house to go swimming on Saturday during the day. So we are planning on bringing these so we have a healthier option instead of just the usual burgers and dogs. But oh my gosh, I really hope that Aldi continues to sell these because they will get my money for these. And they are definitely a little bit more expensive than hot dogs or whatever, but totally worth it. The chicken, small, lonely pack of chicken because the family packs were on sale this week. I went shopping on Thursday 
Aldi tip. Their fresh meat buys are always on Wednesdays. If you don't go on Wednesday, I think I mentioned this once before, but if you don't go on Wednesday, you're gonna miss out on the special meat buy. Coffee, again, every week. Um, broccoli. Now I did get a, um, a bundle about this size in my Misfits Market haul, but I am making broccoli salad for my parents' house on Saturday afternoon, and we are also bringing a broccoli salad to my friend's housewarming party Saturday evening. I needed a whole lot of broccoli. Bananas, a weekly staple. Eggs, bread, we were running low on bread. This is the bread that my kids have for their sandwiches for lunch. Um, I like it because it is the whole wheat, um, and I feel like it's you know a little bit better than just the typical bleached white flour bread. So this is what they eat. We needed more Lucy food, and these, these Vista Bay hard seltzers. Another item I really hope that Aldi continues selling. Now I know that Aldi sells alcohol in select states. It depends on the state law. Our, in our state, which is Connecticut, they allow the sale of beer and like malt beverages in grocery stores. They do not allow wine, which really stinks because I've heard that Aldi wine is pretty awesome, but we don't get that. It's probably a good thing. These things are really refreshing. They're really good. And the best part is one can is only three smart points. Definitely, if you have not tried these, these are our favorite flavor. The lime, they have grapefruit and mango coconut. I wasn't a fan of the mango coconut. It reminded me of sunblock. That's just my personal opinion. These things over here. So <laughs> I was a sucker and I got this for my kids because we are going to see Toy Story 4 on Sunday. And I thought, yay, fun cereal. I won't eat it, but uh, they will. We do have other <laughs> healthier, like granola-like cereals in the cabinet. And the rule is, if they want this, they have to eat the healthy cereal too. Um, fruit snacks, these are for them. I, I can't tell you the last time I bought fruit snacks for them, but I thought it would be a good uh, option for them in the house. Um, I love that, that there's no artificial flavors and no synthetic colors. Peanut butter we were running low on. We always get the large jar for PB&J. Um, sometimes I'll have a spoonful of peanut butter as a snack. Uh, yeah. And tuna. Tonight we are having tuna melts. It's Thursday. We, My kids and I went to Six Flags all day, and I don't really feel like cooking. Um, and actually, my daughter will be helping me with this one. This was the, um, the option that she chose because it was quick and easy, and she likes tuna melts as well. Uh, my husband and I will actually be having tuna in salad though, so just to clarify. And turkey pepperoni is a staple in our house for salads, sandwiches, and snacking. All of this ended up being a total, and this does not include my Misfits Market Haul, a total of $165.91. So definitely above budget. I'm sure the hard seltzers and the cherry and the seafood had something to do with it. Oh, and the sausages. But... That's okay. Next week, maybe it'll be a little less, so we'll balance it out. The Misfits Market Haul, that was, we spent $35 on. So in a total for groceries this week, was $200.91 for a family of four who is staying home, where three of them are staying home all day. So I guess that's not really that bad. I would really like to do 150 next week. We will see if I'm able to, but yeah. So keep watching to see our daily dinners throughout the week. If you have any questions about what we buy or smart point values, please leave the questions in the comments section below. Happy Wednesday. For the first night of this week's uh, dinners, we are having spaghetti and meatballs. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I had posted a couple pictures today. Um, if you'll, When you're watching this, this will be uh, last week sometime. But I posted a few pictures of my son helping me with dinner tonight. And over the summer, I like to get my kids involved with meal planning and cooking. I will let them choose one meal that they want to make. And we work on it together, um, you know, building healthy habits for my kids too. And letting them choose something. My son chose spaghetti and meatballs. And we did make regular spaghetti for uh, him and as well as his sister. And we are also having zoodles on the side of the spaghetti meatballs. He made the zero smart point crock pot marinara this morning. And then we put some turkey meatballs in it. Uh, these are the turkey meatballs that we bought. And I'm not sure if you can tell by the size on the video, but these are definitely bigger than uh, the frozen meatballs that I've seen before. I got this these specifically at Stop and Shop last week. Um, so there's these were not in a grocery haul. But anyway, these are one smart point per meatball. 
and the zoodles are obviously zero smart points. The sauce is zero smart points. And then my husband and I decided to try this spaghetti. Um, it's a little different looking, but I figured um, it was worth a shot. I made enough to have one ounce uh, per serving, so one ounce for myself and my husband. Um, and that ends up being two smart points for one ounce. Honestly, you can't even see it. There's just a little bit in there. I tried one of them and I'm not sure I can get past the texture. Uh, they tasted good, but yeah, they're a little rubbery. So hopefully the sauce and meatballs will kind of disguise that. Um, and I didn't really even put a whole ounce in my bowl, but I'm still gonna count the two smart points. So yeah, this is what's for dinner tonight. With the spaghetti, the black bean spaghetti, the turkey meatballs, my bowl is a total of seven smart points. All right, so for Thursday night's dinner, um, like I had mentioned earlier, the kids and I uh, went to Six Flags today. My daughter was supposed to help with dinner tonight and she chose tuna melts because it was quick and easy. The kids are having tuna melts. My husband and I were going to put tuna over a liver salad, but we got even lazier and decided to do lettuce tuna wraps. So quick, easy, full of protein. We use reduced fat mayo. So this comes to two smart points for this serving here. Kind of quick and easy. Not everything is going to be gourmet and fancy looking, but you know, this totally suffices and it's low in smart points, which is kind of nice considering I did go to Six Flags earlier and we ate, you know, heavier smart point value foods. So we will see you guys for tomorrow's dinner. It is a happy Friday indeed. We are utilizing our zero smart point value foods tonight for sure. All of this here, before I get into what it is, is three smart points. How awesome is that? For tonight's dinner, uh, we grilled up some shrimp and scallops and we sliced up some onion and those mini peppers. If you um, haven't seen my Misfits Market haul video, I got those in my Misfits Market box. Uh, and then we are having a yummy salad full of goodies too. The mixed greens are from Misfits Market. The peppers and onions are also from Misfits Market. But in my salad I have cucumbers and tomato and chickpeas and feta cheese and fit and active balsamic vinaigrette. So the three smart points are basically just for the cheese and the dressing. Everything else you see here is zero smart points. Super excited about this meal tonight. So we will see you with tomorrow night's dinner. Tuesday. Tonight's dinner is a zero smart points dinner. Um, I was going to grill the salmon and I decided I didn't want to fight with the grill so I did foil packets instead and um, especially since I was already using the oven to roast the acorn squash. So I roasted acorn squash with a little bit of seasoning, badia seasoning and some stevia to sweeten it up and the salmon was cooked with lemon juice dill, garlic powder, and also a little bit of stevia. So yeah, this is what we're having tonight for zero smart points. Lots of good protein and uh, yummy veggies. The acorn squash is from Misfits Market. So this concludes the dinners for this week. I will see you guys for next week's meal plan. Bye. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and uh, got some good ideas on what you could make for dinners. I have already started uh, recording for next week so that video is also in the works and again I appreciate you bearing with my my crazy uh, posting schedule as of right now I'm doing it for myself mostly but I do know that it does help other people that are watching too so if you do enjoy these weekly menu grocery haul vlogs make sure you check out the videos that you see over here don't forget to hit the like button down here if you did like this video. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button over here to see more videos in the future. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell down here 
so you'll be notified when I do make another video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate all the support that I have received so far. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.